It is 817. All indications are that this might be a record breaking day in terms of voter turnout and the election as a whole with all of the mail in ballots. So a lot of people might be voting for the first time or at least the first time in a while. That is what we're seeing, at least here in our state. Checking in with Secretary of the State Denise Merrill over Skype this morning. We were just talking with her. She told us she had to wait in line, too. <laughs> first, let, thanks so much for joining us. First, let's talk about the early voting and how much how many absentee ballots you guys have received. Received. Uh, yes, as of last night, the last count was 635,000 that have actually been recorded into our system. So there's probably a few more still out there, but that's a big, big number. How high do you think voter turnout could get overall once all is said and done? Oh, boy. You know, I always hesitate to guess, but uh, normally in a presidential election, we get about 75 percent of the registered voters who turn out. It, it might go higher than that, maybe 80 percent. That's that would be huge. All right. We were talking about this in the break with you. The photos flooding into the Fox 61 newsroom this morning of these long lines, some of them moving quickly. Others have hundreds and hundreds of people in them. We've seen that in Milford this morning. What are you hearing about the lines across mm -hmm. the state in the first couple hours? We're hearing the same thing. Uh, people were in line starting. One lady in uh, Windsor said she started in line at 4 a.m. because she wanted to be the first one to vote. But there were reports of lines by 5 a.m. in some places. Yeah, people are excited to vote. <laughs> I want to ask about some of the do's and don'ts for a lot of people as, the, as they are standing in line just to make sure everything goes smoothly. I know we've talked about you can't wear any campaign sloganry, things like that. What are some other things people should be looking out for uh, that maybe not be kosher, maybe uh, signs that people are trying to change minds inappropriately or intimidate voters? Yes, we, we haven't seen any of that. Uh, it's the standard rule, which is you cannot campaign within 75 feet of a polling place. Most polling places have a, a sign posted 75 feet from the polling place just for that reason, because uh, we don't want voters harassed or intimidated or, you know, even trying to change their mind at that late date. You can campaign outside of that and signs are OK and uh, campaign T-shirts and hats. That's all fine, but only outside that 75 feet. And I know I was asking because we got an email from uh, Terry in North Haven who says outside her polling sign, she's seeing signs on the curb, signs that say no Trump, no Pence, no Margaret Stryker. And she thinks that is not fair. But uh, are you saying so long as it's not within 75 feet, that's fair game? That's right. And uh, yeah, we always see those sorts of signs uh, every year outside the 75 feet. And it sounds like if they're out at the curb, they're well outside the limit. We got an email this morning about some issues in Farmington. We were able to confirm mm -hmm. that they uh, did, in fact, get a new ballot box out there, everything up and running smoothly. Now, any other issues that have popped up so far this morning? We had a couple of polling places that had lost power, but they're back up and running, and I think that went pretty smoothly. We're in touch with Eversource. Uh, we have a whole team of people just in case there's any of those power outages that might have occurred from the windstorm yesterday. So, uh, but so far, we haven't had many problems, just a couple. I have a very unique question. It actually came in from our Tony Terzi on Twitter. He wanted to ask you, would restaurants be permitted to visit polling sites in order to offer food or drinks to folks in line? I've never thought to ask that before. <laughs> Not sure we've ever had them offer before. <laughs> I suppose it would be okay if, if it's outside the 75 foot line and it doesn't sound like they're talking about any particular candidate that they're campaigning for. So if they're just trying to be nice, why not? Yeah, some hot chocolate maybe to wait in line. Secretary of State <laughs> yeah. Denise Merrill, thanks so much for joining us. It's going to be a long night for you, I'm sure. Yes, thanks very much for having me. Thank you again. Okay.